Although Bugs Bunny is one of my favourite Warner Brothers characters, and I have nothing against Taz, the Tasmanian Devil, I've never really found a Bugs Bunny and Taz cartoon that I've loved. So I went into Bill of Hair with an open mind, hoping for something to change that. I can still say that I still don't love any of the Bugs and Taz cartoons, but I didn't hate it. There was nothing wrong with it. I just didn't think it was particularly phenomenal. This one was released in 1962, directed by Robert McKimson and written by John W. Dunn. And of course, we have Mel Blanc as Bugs Bunny and Taz. And I have to say, I did like the opening. I won't say exactly what happens. But I like how Taz became loose. I like the humans in that section and their dialogue there. I thought it was very effective. So actually it got off to a really good start. And T Bugs is busy cooking carrots and things. And Taz comes along and, and does everything he can, as is always the case, to try and capture, cook and eat Bugs. And Bugs gives as good as he gets and tries to outsmart Taz. I think maybe the reason I don't take to these as much as I do some others is that I feel like it's really easy for Bugs to outsmart Taz. Whereas with a lot of the other characters, sometimes they're more difficult. But Taz, I feel like, is his, he is violent, he is aggressive, he is strong, but he's not very smart. So I don't feel like Bugs has or ever has a real challenge or ever has to do anything too creatively. Although when he asked Taz to speed up the, the spinning of the pole, I don't know what it's called, when Bugs was over the um, boiling water, that bit I found to be quite amusing. So there were things here and there that I quite liked, but the overall feel of it, it wasn't anything amazing, it wasn't anything that will stay with me. You know, sometimes there are Warner Brothers cartoons that I just randomly think of now and again. This one, like the rest of the Bugs and Taz ones, I feel like I enjoyed it well enough, but as soon as I move on to the next cartoon, I'm going to forget it. So I'd recommend it if you're a fan of Bugs or Towns or Warner Brothers in general, but it's never going to be a personal favourite.